Hi, I'm Austin Vince. And I'm Lois Price. And we're here to invite you to the next Adventure Travel Film Festival... In Australia! Beneath the bulbous igneous extrusions of Mount Buffalo, and nestled in the great Alpine Valley below, a cascading river and the town of Bright. In February 2012, a scene of furious activity as it welcomes Australia's first adventure travel film festival. As the enthusiasts arrive, they see their needs well catered for. A giant marquee for their presentations, somewhere for the films, and both pivoting about the crucial nexus of any travel event, a dedicated supplier providing over the weekend an adventure in pure drinking pleasure. And so the 300 adventure-hungry revelers convene, each a proud ambassador of their own Burg and Cantonment. Newcastle, New South Wales. Sunbury. Victoria. Mount Tambourine, Queensland. Wodonga. Victoria. Emmett. Queensland. The best thing about this festival is the international nature of it. The world is brought to us. It's all these stories from Russia, Colombia, Mongolia, Africa. The audience are tingling with excitement. Actually, um, that Four Strokes of Luck, I've sort of seen a little bit of that movie and it really intrigues me, so I'm uh, quite looking forward to seeing that. You get to meet the people that did the journey and made the film. My idea? We use our motorbikes to power a boat. We'll sail at 200 kilometres through the San Blas Islands to the first road in Panama at Carti, then right off into the sunset. Well, the sadness is, is that you could watch Discovery and Nat Geo channels, Nat Geo Adventure, Discovery Adventure, all day long, and you would never see the types of films that I've seen here this weekend. While well, I'm primarily interested in the bike stuff, there's heaps of other movies showing as well. The one last night about the uh, you know, the, down the Yangtze River was just amazing. The Yangtze River expedition really is the stuff of legend. Were it not for the film documenting the trip, any sane human would have to dismiss the story as a fabrication. Imagine then the cachet of having not one, but two members of the team on site. Ben Cazell, inundated with requests for autographed books, and Tim Cope giving a presentation, not about rowing the length of a river, but inspiring us with stories of his awesome bicycle ride from Moscow to Peking. 10,000 kilometers over 18 months, which by the way, wasn't easy. The adventure royalty just kept on coming, and seeing Tim Cope chatting with the legendary John Muir was frankly special indeed. And John Muir is 100% unique. I'm John Muir, I'm at the Adventure Travel Film Festival. His adventure CV is stunning, but his 2001 solo crossing of Australia, dragging his barrow of gear and living off the land, is a truly unbelievable story. The best thing about this festival is the atmosphere. The quality and the rare nature of the films. Oh, the people that you continually meet. And they've come from miles around to see this and I reckon it's a great idea. These films deserve to be seen. They're ripping yarns and classic adventures. There are adventure events going on all the time around Australia. We've got four wheel drive events, motorcycle, cycling and also kayaking. But this event brings them all together in the one place. To miss this festival, frankly, would be absolute madness. Be here.